Hi folks, I have brought you another unboxing video about the brand new headset that I bought. Um, before I start unboxing this, I want to let you guys know that I had the Steel Series Siberia uh, netband. It's been serving me really good. Uh, there's almost no wear and tears on this. This can has been very solid for me over the years. I believe it has been at least four or five years now. And everything is still working perfectly. Nothing's wrong with it. This is the original first release version. As you can see, there's no uh, iPhone volume control on it. But on the extension cord, definitely there was a volume wheel on it so you can change your volume okay so enough with the old cans that i have where this is open back and i bought a pair of clothes back and i'll let you guys know what's up with with the new cans that i bought and all right uh let's just start opening the box i've been doing a lot of research lately uh with what kind of headset I should get and I mean I had the steel series for a very long time and I want something very decent and I at first I didn't notice that those so-called gamer headset um, you know I was just an average consumer and I know nothing about you know audio phone or, or anything like that but then when I did my research in the past couple of months uh, I have came across a couple of different brands uh, from recommendation from website and review where uh, the similar in price point of this this is the Audio Technica ATH-AG1 so in this video I'll just simply call it AG1 and I bought this from Taiwan and it just happened that my friend was traveling to Taiwan and I've been searching uh, among websites and came across some vendors in Taiwan do have this in stock but it wasn't uh, pricing so well that where it actually attracted me but then when I informed my friend where where I actually want to buy uh, Audio Technica uh, head, headset or their audio phone uh, he actually knows some people that can hook me up for a deal uh, I got this for a really really good deal um, usually if you search online on Amazon or uh, actually on Audio Technica's own website this goes for probably 280 or 300 something but sometimes street prices can be lower than this but I got this for new Taiwan dollars about 9,000 Taiwan dollars that translate into approximately $300 US ship yes that's right you heard me ship to me from Taiwan ship to me in total is $300 in US this is ass kicking deal I mean no, for God's sake, uh, it's shipped and it's only 300 uh, and it's actual Audio Technica headset that, that is not, it's not just some gamer headset but of course, in this price range, there are plenty of different choices for instance, the Sennheiser uh, Zero, Sennheiser One, uh, Beer Dynamic Custom One Pro or the Astro A50, A40, or even the Steel Series H wireless headset. Uh, but ultimately, I had chosen this. Wow! Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So let's see. Let's let's take a look of that. The AG1. Oh my goodness! This is the AG1. It's not a small box. So. And it actually came with the Audio Technica paperback, and I like that. 
That's where we need them. And the box itself, it measures about eight in inches, eight and a half inches in width, about ten and a half in length, and in height. about five and a half inches in height so it's not a particularly small uh, box I would say but definitely keep that in mind if you are planning to have it shipped to you uh, it's not going to be a small box probably a mid-size box for a headset okay so this is it the box is in hot paper it says Japan design right there for PC gamers uh, but I'm pretty sure if you guys had been searching uh, for this review or anything information related uh, about this headset I'm pretty sure you guys already noticed that uh, its core actually is a 3.5 millimeter jack with four wings where it do support uh, any mobile phone or PlayStation 4 console uh, or something similar so and I heard that Audio Technica's uh, audio phone are very easy to drive so on the side there as you can see there you can see through the window it looks pretty cool okay so that's what it comes with the box it should be the mic itself the mute button the 3D wing system where the headband itself is actually not connected. It has a little two wing flipping system. Should fit most head, but I haven't tried this on, so we'll see. And the USB adapter, that's just the USB DAC that it comes with. But I have a sound card. It's not particularly uh, a professional sound card. It's the ASUS DG. Uh, why I bought that is just that it has the um, headset or headphone amplifier. Uh, uh, and it actually works really well with my with my steel series earlier I saw in the video and I recently downloaded the Razer surround sound uh, program for the software imitation of, of surround sound actually it works pretty well uh, I actually was surprised something that created by Razer is good uh, it's actually that surround sound and it's free and you guys could should check it out Okay, so let's not waste your time. Let's take a quick look. So it says, it says right there, you see the camera will zoom in. It says Taiwan in Chinese right there. It says Taiwan Audio Technica. So that's what that is. And on the box itself right here, everything else, it seems like besides that little sticker right there, is pretty much written in Japanese. So I believe it's made in Japan. I'm not sure, but uh, it's designed to cooperate with the Australia Audio Technica. So they designed it along with the Japan uh, branch, I believe, the headquarter, I, I guess. Um, so let's look at the spec. Spec on the on the AG1. It's a co-spec dynamic design with the cans. Uh, what there's? You see if you if the camera will zoom in. So. So you guys could see this. Not sure if I, I did it right. So let's see if it pick up the. Sorry if it gets blurry. Okay, it looks better. Okay, right there. Uh, the close back dynamic design, the 53 millimeter driver, 100 decibel. The Frequency response is 5 to uh, 35,000 hertz. That's pretty, that's pretty amazing. 5 to 35. Wow. Jesus. That's nice. Maximum power input 1000. I'm not sure what that symbol is. I'm sorry. I'm not really good at that. Those symbol. I'm not an audio phone professional guy or something. But impedance. It, that's 38 ohms. That's not 